It's Frank. It is. It's Frank. <laughs> so you know I'm out here. So as you know, I'm me. And work for the sheriff's office. The reason I stopped you is you are 30 miles an hour over the posted speed limit. All right. Any weapons in your vehicle? Yes. I'm going to let you mess around with that there. I'm just going to grab that just for the duration of the stop. Fine. Sure. Appreciate it. I'll tell you right now, it should be. <laughs> so in running a check through our system, I had contact with this guy in September of 2018. Uh, so I think probably right before I came to the traffic unit, I was still working patrol out in this area. Um, I rode him on this same road, just a little bit further west of here for 74 and a 50. And I got him for 79 and a 50 today. Um, so this was... Uh, I wrote some notes in there. He was nowhere near as nice the first time I talked to him as he was today. So uh, a much, much nicer contact with this guy. I'm going to give you that. All right. Oh, this is the gun. Then I'm going to give you this. Oh, man. you. Then I'm going to give you this. Golly. One more. Let me give you that. Okay. There we go. Okay. Throw all that in your passenger seat. You can put that together. By the way, your gun needs oil. So. I'm sure it does. Um, <laughs> Hey man, those those everyday carry guns, man, they get dry. They get it's just it's just the nature of it. Do you remember me from the last time I stopped you? <clears throat> so you are not correct. I stopped you on September 3rd, 2018, at MCG and Anderson, and you were doing 74 and a 50. Really? I looked it up because you popped up in our system. So yeah, man. That's funny. and dude, you're super nice today. <laughs> you were not nice to me that day, and I wrote some notes in there that said you weren't nice to me. But since you I haven't been- I was younger, I was younger then. I hey man, it is all about personal development, right? And we're all better the older that we get. So you're doing a criminal amount of speed, but since you were so cool today and you've obviously grown and you haven't been stopped in five and a half years, I'm gonna knock this down. We're just gonna keep it as a regular civil site. Everybody wants me to get a picture with you, but I said no. <laughs> hey man, I appreciate it. Thanks, for, thanks for being so cool, man. Drive safe today. <laughs> Do you know how fast I got you on radar? Oh my God, please tell me how fast. Oh, I'm going to. Please don't um, tell me that. Oh, well, I got you. I locked you in at 59. Really? And that was after I saw you at 63. Okay, I was just trying to hurry to get to I can tell, but the speed limit here is 35, so you're at a criminal... Is that at 45? It's 35, all through town. One of your citations is failing to report your name. Hi. Hello, citizen. Um, you can't laugh and cry at the same time. You can only pick one. Oh. I'm just really fun. I, I, I am the cause of that in a lot of people. No, you're not. But, thank you for your service. Well, thank you. So, your speed is criminal. I did not write you a criminal ticket. My question is to you, that's a jail rate. Like, you could arrest me. Oh, yeah. Oh, 100%. Oh, yeah. 100%. At, that, that rate, at the speed that's that's that you're going, you yeah. could go to jail. Absolutely. Okay, okay. So, you. I typically don't, especially since you've never had a, a history with us before. Um, you know, now if you were at 121 miles an hour, um, then, then yeah, then I take you to jail for criminal speed. For, for this, I think we can, I can get my point across and I think, <laughs> I don't think, did. see, so I don't think you're going to travel that fast anymore and you we could leave it. with just this. Come here. I feel like you need to be wearing your seatbelt. See your driver's license. All right. Well, I'm definitely slow, but have any idea why I might be stopping you? Why? Speeding. Yeah. You know what the speed limit is before you entered the 35 mile an hour zone? No. It was 50 and you were doing 94. Oh, you're from California. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Grab your registration and insurance. Hey, Speedy, what's going on? See your driver's license, please. All right. Well, I'm Deputy Sloper for the Sheriff's Office. I'm late to work. You're late for work? Yeah, sorry. So, do you know what the speed limit on this road is before you entered the 35 mile an hour zone? Here? Yeah. Like, I'm going down like... Well, it was 50, and you were doing 94. Thanks for your ticket. I want you to pull around me and in front of the car that's up there, okay? You're safe to do that now. One, I don't want someone behind me, and two, um, it's safer if everyone's in front of me and I have my red and blues facing backwards. They both have the same court date, so they can go and see each other again uh, in court and uh, rehash that whole thing. 94 and a 50 is where I got you at. That is a criminal amount of speed because you're more than 20 miles an hour over the speed limit. You have a court date, just need your signature down at the bottom. That just says that you promised to go there. I know these things are fast, man. I drive when I get it, but you got to slow down. He's going to get the same ticket you are because you guys were together. You're exceeding the speed limit by more than 20 miles an hour. 
That's criminal. You're not wearing a seatbelt. You don't have insurance. Okay, so all the things that we talked about. So you have to go to court. Slow down. By the way, I, I've seen your videos. I love. That's me, you, man. I, I appreciate I that. Did, I know I'm doing wrong. And That's okay. It's your job, but I yeah. What you guys do. I appreciate you being cool, man. It's hey. it it happens, man. But yeah. now you know yeah. I'm out here doing the I job. How you get out? I'm like it's him. And then I saw the camera guy. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, you're I'm like, oh my god, I'm, I'm gonna be on the internet. Hey. You are. Yeah, I know. I <laughs> Listen, I appreciate it, man. Hey, thank you, man. man put your seatbelt on, drive yeah. slower, okay? You had that ready so fast. Yeah, you pulled me over before. I have? Yep. What did I pull you over for last time? Uh, my license is actually Oh, is it suspended now? I like it. Yes. So, I just got my interlock off, so I haven't gotten any also, that's totally fine. I so the reason I stopped you this morning is you were 55, posted to be in runs towards 35 while you were catching up to that car that was in front of you. She goes, well, you've stopped me before. Oh. Like, what did I stop you for? She goes, my license was suspended. And was this suspended now? She goes, no. So okay, well, might, might be your lucky day. <laughs> let's, let's check this out. Everything's in good shape. All right. So you're right. I And I apologize for not recognizing you, but we did meet in August of last year. Look at this. I don't even know how I'm going to get in here, but... <laughs> this is the 100th episode of Fridays with Frank. What does that mean to you? Uh, but to be... To say that it's humbling is, uh, is a gross understatement. Um, I mean, just to think that... I mean, we started out with, you know, a, a, a PSA for texting and driving and we've grown to I mean you and I have contacted people from literally all over the world uh, that 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 watch what we're doing here in Pinal County and watch what this agency does as a whole people all over the country will tell me first of all they ask where's Frank I'm like hey I'm not chopped liver here you know <laughs> I've started to introduce myself as hi I'm Sheriff Lamb Frank's boss uh, so they know who I am but just to see the impact you've had, and really what has been fascinating to me is all the law enforcement people who come up to me and say, hey, thank you for what you're doing for law enforcement. Thank you showing for showing what this job is and, and letting your guys do their work. Are you getting the same type of feedback? Yeah, I I mean, from, from all over. Uh, my, my last name is, is Czech, and uh, I had a police officer from over there from the Czech Republic uh, sent me a message to, to the sheriff's office email address. Hey, your name is Czech. Are you are you Czechoslovak? And I'm like, yeah, it's that's 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 my lineage. Do people recognize you wherever you go? More more and more. Um, if you had a cowboy hat on, they'd recognize you everywhere. <laughs> I get I get recognized, hat, no hat, uniform, no uniform. Um, and it's great. The reason I stopped you is you've got all those blue lights to the front of your car. Okay. Now, I also have blue lights at the front of the car, but the sheriff lets me put them on. Once you're out on the road, the only vehicles that can have a red or blue lights to the front are cop cars. <laughs> Thank you, you man. One more? You're welcome. Thank you, you're you're welcome. That. Thank you. It's a pleasure. No, Thank you so thank much. You very much Appreciate it. Well, with you guys. Ah, yeah, let's do it. Video, absolutely. Face the, car, face the car. There we go. We'll face it. Do you get tired of the of the selfies and the hey, let's take a picture? I don't. I don't either. I, I absolutely don't. And I, I learned that from you. Um, I think I very early on in my career here, um, I saw how, how you interacted with people and, and always stopped and took time to, to have that conversation, no matter how brief it is. Um, and now that I'm in a very similar position, I I feel that same. I have those same contacts. And, um, and I love it. I mean, as long as I'm not on a traffic stop actively with someone pulled over, um, I take a picture with someone. And I, I don't think I, except How for many that, have we had today? <laughs> I don't know. I think even, like five, six, five, six. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, the first one started with a, with a law enforcement officer from another agency um, that just had, happened to come here for training and, um, and saw you and I in the parking lot. So we didn't even get out of the parking lot of the sheriff's office substation and uh, took our first picture this morning. <laughs> well, and I, I, to me, I've always taken that time. To me, everybody is important. And it shows that we're real people too. I think most people think that police officers are these robots or whatever. No, we're real people. We have families, we got feelings. We're trying to, 
We're trying to protect our families, our communities. We're trying to protect our country. We had to stop the community ride-alongs because, for the most part, because we had so many people wanting to come out and ride with you. I'd never get anything done. No. I, yeah, I'd spend all my time coordinating. Every once in a while, we'll still raffle one off, or uh, you know, some if there's a, a good, genuine cause. But for the most part, I, between having the PIO with me um, and doing all of the ancillary duties that I have within the sheriff's office between being a, a BCU investigator, being on the SWAT team, being a good team member. Oh, there's another one. Hi. Hello. Hi. Oh, my God, pull it out. <laughs> you too. <laughs> I'm wondering this car here is kind of camping in this left lane. It is camping in the left no. lane. I, so I've seen three cars pass it on the right and move over. Everybody was passing you on the right. Uh -huh. You were going the speed limit, but you want to be in the right lane except to pass. And if you have to move into the left lane to pass, that's why. Sorry about that. That's okay. Sorry about that. That's, a lot of people don't know about that law. I'm grateful for what you've done. It's not easy to put yourself out there because you get the positive comments, but you get some negative comments as well. And I think that how you've handled that has been you know, really uh, a tribute to the kind of person you are. I tell people when I meet him, I said, Frank is the way you see him. What you see on, on the videos is exactly how Frank is in real life. And I think you're, you're kind, you're nice, but you're stern and you understand like you have a job to do. There's a law and when you, you break the law, you know, tip, sometimes that comes with tickets. And I think the way you deliver that has been uh, what a people, they'll, heck, they want to take a selfie with you after you give them a ticket. Who can who can say that? I'm, I think I'm the only I'm the only traffic cop in the country. I think that that happens too, um, and that's I mean that that's the citizenry here in Pinal County. Um, I mean there there are just so many um, so many people here that support us, even when we're when we're holding people accountable and we're doing our job, even if they're getting a ticket. And I'm glad you write tickets because that gives me the ability to not write tickets. I don't do it. I don't write tickets partly because I don't have one of these fancy machines you guys have here. Uh, and second of all, it's just never really been my jam. But uh, what are the other cops around that you interact with? What do they say to you about it? What do they think of, of what you do? Because I know when I when I was doing live PD and when I was doing 60 days in and when we're out there pulling people over for driving in the left lane, all of those things together, I do it because I want to make sure that it's representing law enforcement in a positive light and in a, in a light that I think reflects well on our profession. And I, that's one of the reasons why we opted to do this with you is to really showcase our profession and do it in a positive light. Do you get the same feedback? What's the feedback you give? I, I get the same, same exact. I mean, I have contact with, um, with cops, not only from all over the state, but all over the country um, as a DRE instructor. Uh, we have a, a national conference every year. So uh, when I attend that, I end up speaking with other traffic focused um, officers deputies troopers from all over the country and uh, and I get that same exact feedback that we are what we're doing here in Pinal County is a great representation of, um, of of law enforcement of what people deal with all over the place because the, the <laughs> look at, there's somebody uh, waving at us right there <laughs> see that's the kind of feedback you get that was raw and and uh, unsolicited i find that out here on the road just with normal citizens yeah. like that who are driving just going man I'm, I'm i'm glad you're out here or hey i've changed my driving behavior because i have watched your videos and i've seen you know i've seen you stop people for this or i never knew that this was illegal and now i i do know so i don't do that anymore um so the the educational factor of this series um, has stretched far beyond the borders of Pinal County. I get that with the left lane stuff, and I don't want to rub it in, but we won an Emmy with the left lane stuff. So it's no big deal. Yeah, no big deal. It's just a little thing. But uh, I, I, other than the episodes, I know the episodes, your favorite ones are the ones with me, but other than those, which have been your favorite, what is probably a couple of your favorite moments in the hundred episodes that you've done with uh, Friday with Frank? I think uh, the, the one of the very first ones where uh, we pulled over that lady in the minivan. The, me so mean. <laughs> I don't believe mean is the word for me. Possibly direct or empatheticless. Yeah. And who, who 
who just, you know, had all of the the ups and downs of uh, of emotions during my contact. And did I hear that she is now a a fan of yours? She's a fan. <laughs> She's a, she reached out to the sheriff's office. Um, we've had some some email interaction. Um, she works here in Santan Valley. Uh, we're gonna try to get together with her. The PIO is working on that um, to to get me and her back together uh, because she's a fan. She she likes what we do. She watches the videos. Um, so I thought that was again another contact that initially didn't look like it was so oh, good. Oh, she was madder than a wet hand. Boy, she, she was called mad. the office too. <laughs> I, I, I heard that. Um, so I like I like that one. Um, obviously, the one with my mom is one of one of my favorites. I am more nervous than having Sheriff Lamb ride with me. <laughs> um, just having her in that seat and getting to share what I've done for so many years with her was was pretty. Uh, and a lot of people like that episode oh. with your mom. Yeah, that was that's. I think that's that's a fan favorite along with my personal favorite. Which one do the people talk to you the most about? So when they come up to you, uh, for me, it, you know, for example, they come up and say, "I love how you do the left lane videos." What do they come up to you, or they'll say, "Hey, I remember when you stopped that lady, that you know, nice car, uh, just a normal lady that was trafficking human beings." Trae identificación? No. No? Are you sure, Sam? I am. Oh my gosh, I know I recognize you. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Ask him where they pick where they get picked up. Naco. Los levantó en Naco, no? So there's always a couple different ones that they always remember. Like for you, what is it the ones they bring up? I have probably the the blue Mustang kid. Okay, can you just off instead of being a like you're being rude? For what what about what about what have I done that makes me rude? That's probably the sure. one yeah. one of the number one um, stops, just because of of his his interaction with me more so than my interaction with him. Um, that's one of the top ones. The one with mom comes up all the time. Um, the, most recently, we had one where I stopped a, a 14 year old unlicensed driver right over on Gary Road. Wait, right you're pregnant? There. You're not supposed to be driving? That's what I was told. You're not supposed to be driving if you're pregnant. That's what I was told. I don't know if I've ever heard that before. Really? I've known a lot of pregnant people. Um, that one is, I think, very quickly becoming one of the one of the favorites. I pulled you over because you threw that cigarette butt out the window. I'm sorry. I never know. I normally don't do that. It happens to be one of my pet peeves. I know, I'm sorry. We have a good conversation about that? We did. He recognized, uh, he says he never does it, which uh, I have a hard time believing. I, I don't think that that's probably true. Everything else in line? Everything else is good. No littering. I Can't throw those cigarette butts. Stuff them right in yes, please do. Oh, all right, brother. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, have a good one. What message do you have for all the fans out there, the ones who have made these 100 episodes possible that have really kind of taken our sheriff's office and helped put it on a different, you know, we're number two in the country, by I was the way. Just, I was just going to say that. What they did was they helped us surpass NYPD. Only the FBI is in front of us. We passed up the NYPD. Sorry about that, NYPD. I love you those got guys passed out by a fellow New Yorker out here in Arizona. It takes the sting out of it a little bit. You got a fellow New Yorker that, that helped in that. <laughs> the amount of support that we get is is awesome. And I just, I love that we are allowed to be the face or the voice um, for law enforcement right now, especially, you know, in of course in Pinal County, but even extrapolate that outwards to, uh, I mean, to the, to the West Coast, to the country. Um, that that we're we're able to do this, and that comes from people supporting us. You know, and a lot of people say to me, Sheriff, I'm thank you for doing it. And I said, Look, it's not hard. First of all, we trust our people. We trust our guys. We give them a gun and a badge. We we trust that they're going to go out and do the job well. That they're going to protect people's constitutional rights. But at the same time, um, they're going to go out and do their job and hold people accountable if need be. Uh, and then one of the things that we're not afraid of is truth. We're not afraid to put the truth out there. Jordan Peterson, I know you went and listened to Jordan Peterson. One of my favorite quotes from him is he says, you have to have faith in the redeeming power of truth. And I wish more law enforcement agencies across this country just had faith in the redeeming power of the truth out there. And they put it out there. And I think that um, we could do ourselves a real favor in this profession 
by just showing what we deal with every day. And uh, fortunately, we live in a great community that understands what we're trying to do as well. So it, it helps. As I stopped you, I locked you in at 65, posted speed limit on Hunt Highways 45. So yeah, that's what I said when you went by me. I was like, we should have a talk. Jeep, I mean, I'm telling you, that's, it's a fairly new Jeep, and you're just telling you, I don't drive it. It goes, man. No, it's your registration does. paperwork, car proof insurance. You got land with you. Yeah. Yeah, man. He's the guy. <laughs> how are you doing? Good to see you. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. How's everything going? I guess speed to go to San Antonio to give it to I got this Jeep. It's, you know. It's not even a no one's ever that happy to see me. Look, it's another warning. Give me one second. Yeah. <laughs> One of your East Coasters. I know. Are you giving him a you ticket? Know, you know why? He, he dropped the F-bomb. <laughs> Not as a personal offense to me. And I was like, this guy's got to be from the East Coast. He's got to be. You do it? Yeah. I'll do it. All right, where's... All right, so so I made a I made an observation on our first contact. Yeah. You dropped the F-bomb, yeah. but not not at me. Yeah. So where on the East Coast are you from? New Jersey. Yeah. All right. He, says, he goes... He said he dropped the F-bomb right away. I knew he's from the East Coast. <laughs> so it's, we use it like a comma. So I, I get it. I, and I appreciate that. So I'm from New York. And I get like New Jersey. You know, it's where New York puts all of its trash. I feel kind of bad for you. <laughs> oh, Long Island. So I'll give you a break. Oh, but hey, you, it's only because the sheriff's Let me tell you, he doesn't give breaks. I don't give breaks. He doesn't give breaks. <laughs> oh, hey, you ain't going to see me speed. I appreciate that. All right. Make sure you make sure you keep an eye on that. Oh, drive drive safe. Thanks for wearing your seatbelt. You come up on me and I'm like, man, this guy wants to race. I was telling him I didn't realize you were even a cop car, so I got That's over the idea. and shoot through, and then all of a sudden, woo, I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah, there it is again. <laughs> you guys have a good day. Drive have a good day. Enjoy your breakfast. Hey, see ya. <laughs> Everybody knows the car, right? I drive the most recognized unmarked car in the history of forever. Well, and you've also, tell us about the, the bumper sticker on the back. <laughs> yeah. So that bumper sticker was put on by, again, because we have fun here, was put on by another deputy. <laughs> um, so he uh, he thought it was funny. And it says what? Uh, student, I think it says student driver. It says be, be patient. Please be patient. Yeah. Please be patient, student, student driver. driver. Yeah. So, <laughs> so he put that on here. And um, apparently the internet loved it. So I, I left it on there because I thought it was kind of funny. Well, you've got this tent. Oh, uh, yeah, this is my mom. She's at the dock. Your mom's got a murdered out <laughs> truck. <laughs> She's, I just dropped her off at Ironwood, uh, Banner Ironwood. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah, so yeah, so you're obviously your, your side windows okay. are, uh, are pretty dark. The whole tint on the bottom side of your windshield, that that's nice. a little bit too much. Your tail lights having that smoke on them, okay. so it takes away the reflective capabilities of the reflectors in the back. Okay. That's also, so you all sorts of stuff. I just put a notation in there that we contacted you, told you that the window tint was illegal. Okay. Um, so yeah, a bedazzled steering wheel, so. Yeah, yeah it definitely must. That's really oh, nice. It's, I, yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that, man. Hey, Later, brother. You can't, you can't be See wrong ya. for helping out your mom. So make sure you take care of that. Drive safe today, okay? We did live PD, and I feel like what you have done with Fridays with Frank is even in many ways bigger than what anything that came from that. Because not everybody watched live PD, but everybody was on. Everybody's on social media. We're getting millions and millions of views on social media from the, the work that they see you do out there. How do the other guys within the agency see it? Um, I uh, <laughs> obviously because you know just because of the nature of our job, I get a uh, I get we we rag we on each other, we, yeah. we, we, we on each other. <laughs> um, but uh, that is all done in fun. Yeah. And um, look, I, my name nickname is Sheriff Hollywood. So <clears throat> and it's, I know. and most people don't realize the only reason I've done that is because for one, to promote the profession, promote the agency, hiring. We, most people don't realize we are a suburb of Phoenix and there are a lot of big agencies that pay more money than what we do. Officers will leave there to become deputies down here um, because of the culture that we have, because of the support, because 
I mean, kind of because of how much fun we have. Yeah. Because um, this job, under the right leadership, is still fun. Um, Absolutely. Under poor leadership, it is not fun. So if you're looking for a cop job, Pinal County Sheriff's Office, or if you are a cop and want to be a cop again, come out to Pinal County Sheriff's Office. You're not kidding. <laughs> it, it's, it's, that is the truth. See your driver's license, please. Sir, I'm on... I'm literally on my way to the Coolidge DMV to get my license. So you don't have a license? I, I am on my way to get it right now. I, I hear that all the time. I, I, do you have I, any ID on you whatsoever? I, I do not, sir. I, I was just released from federal prison last week, Friday. Yes, sir. I, you I don't have any ID? You don't have like a, I, like a card from I, prison? I, it's, it's crazy. It sounds like there's a story, okay? Friday, I got out of prison Saturday morning, or Saturday, me and my lady went to the carnival, and I lost the keys to our car, I lost my, my federal um, identification card, mm -hmm. and uh, my chapstick and everything. I feel like in that list of things of importance, chapstick is way at the bottom. Well, I just figured everything that was in the pocket, I might as well tell you, you know? Yep. Absolutely, I feel you. All right, so the reason I stopped you is for a criminal amount of speed. You're 33 miles an hour over the speed limit. Yes, sir. So you're 83. Yes, sir. Your registration expired last year. We're now in this year. We did confirm he did just get out of prison. Um, and his license is still suspended from when he was, before he went to prison. So, so there's all these issues that never would have came to light if he wasn't going 33 over. Um, but he was straightforward with me and honest. And I, I mean, I'm not going to cut him a break and not give him a ticket, but I'm probably not going to write him another criminal ticket. And we're going to give him at least a chance to start getting his life back um, into line. But all of this could have been avoided if he just would have obeyed the speed limit. Everything is wrong. Uh, Everything is wrong. So you did two and a half. Yes, You're trying to get your life back straight now. You're at a criminal amount of speed. Yes, sir. Your license is suspended. Yes, sir. You have suspended plates on your car. <laughs> right? Yes, like, sir. all the things are wrong. Yes, sir. But I also appreciate that you're in this weird transition spot where you're trying to get your life yes, back. Yes, so I'm not I'm not totally empathetic this. I still have a job to do. You're still you're still getting some tickets. Okay. I'm not gonna take you to jail. Your driver's license is suspended for a failure to appear. Okay, okay. So I figured you were probably in prison. Yes, you didn't sir. appear. Okay, the court I'm going to, I have to be there by 9.30 because it is Tuesday open court. I know, I know. I'm gonna be in that court at 2.30 for something else. So okay. when you go there, you gotta tell them that you've got some issues that you need to take care of. I didn't cite you with the criminal speed. I, I didn't that. cite you with the suspended plate. I didn't cite you with all the other stuff that I could cite you with, okay? So this still holds you accountable, right? Which is a big, it's a big deal. I'm sure that being held accountable was something that probably in prison they were like, hey man, you're gonna, when you get out. Probation after this, so I might, so talk to, talk to them and just say, hey man, look, cop was super cool. He cut me a break, but at the same time, man, Slow if you're driving dirty and you know you're driving dirty, 33 miles over the speed limit, probably a bad way to stay off the radar. Yes, sir. All right, is that all fair? Yes, sir. Absolutely. All right, all right. I'm gonna give you that right there. That's that's where you're going, it's probably the Central Penal Justice Court. Okay. Um, and that's it. Okay. All right. Any that. any questions about anything? Absolutely not, sir. All right, man.